Oh, what's up, YouTube? This is Rear Station here, and we're going to be reacting to episode 20 of the second season of Vinland Saga. So, yeah, last time on Norway. Um, Kato's, really, Kato's army is a, Kato's about to clash with Knut's army, and, uh, well, they did clash, and, uh, yeah, it's not looking good for them already. <laughs> just to put it lightly, like they, they literally just got so soft up. And funny enough, it's just like they they weren't even aware of who they were facing. That's the funny part. So it has to. Re and Thorgo, of course, is using this as a means, so he can use him as far as to get to Canute directly. And yeah, so we <laughs> just want to see how whether or not that works that well. Meanwhile, uh, both and Aaron try to. You know, along with Lif and again, I'm okay with the um, the reunion getting cut because like it wouldn't fit. I don't know why people were complaining about that. It just doesn't make sense. I still don't know if it makes sense like why Kato is just like wrong, like poorly. It's just inconsistently characterized from the beginning. I don't think that's the case. We I've already stated this before. The thing is that I I just don't I, I just don't agree like. Could he been depicted the exact way he did with the manga where he looks a little nosy and you know? all? Maybe, yeah. But from him but there's also a case where you can also have where you can where you have to depict like even the nicest looking per people can turn out to be can turn out to be utter trash. I'm not again, I'm not saying Kato's um an absolute villain. An absolute deplorable like like somebody like oh you he has to die or whatnot. It's just he's scum. He he took he took he's he's a con artist. He took he literally took the name the name of the uh, the iron fit uh, the iron fist from someone else. The one like a snake knows the real one because the real one told him shit. So there's that. And so yeah, <laughs> when your army when your when your best right hand man tell you like yeah we don't we go we ain't, we ain't got this one. Yeah, you know you fuck, but they just press on anyway, and I loved how they didn't hold back on the gore too. That's something I'm I'm glad Vin Saga never has given up on. And uh, yeah, and meanwhile, it looks like Arhe is about to pass on. You kind of already saw that. It, the the line, the composition, they they're really prioritizing things. And also, I've seen where like I mentioned before, the camera, the how the camera just pan and all is kind of like a sort of has sort of a depth to it without trying to go all ham like sure if it had something like a chainsaw man sort of thing and i again i've have you know i've had a lot of my issues with chainsaw man's anime's approach but I, again i could see how it would work in other places i just felt like in that regards in that sort of debut for that director it just was a bit inept. It was just quite inept in my opinion. Like uh, I know a lot of people will be fond of that, of what how Chainsaw Man did. But I felt about I had more issues with it than positives. But I felt like the positives can be more once that once not came. And I feel bad for him that because apparently he might not be the the, the returning director for season one of that one. And then when, when he gets into things, and when people start to try to get used to things, not, not, not discard the old standard. The old standard is still good. It's still great. But it's just like we can, we can do. We, why not have those kinds of approaches coexist? Like anime has to be something of freedom of expression. Like we can, you know. I know it is still geared around culture, but the the culture of the Japan itself, you know, the the usual standards. But it's still. Suppo something of supposed to be a part of freedom of expression, but if we're limited by that, then what else? What gives? What gives? I mean, there are there are times where minds when you shouldn't just we where where things can cross the line. But yeah, we, we it's up to the author, it's up to the creator to know when that when that's the thing. Anyways, I'm just gonna go ahead and get this started, and uh, we're gonna. And uh, yeah, more looks like this is good. And this is gonna be this is the highly prioritized episode. So I might have to. I don't know why. I'm just 
blur. Like, I hope this isn't overlapping from yesterday because apparently she got the fam, fam, fam was mad at me for no reason just because like, they think I shouldn't be too, I should be cold. But last time I was like literally barely try, barely trying to stop myself from sweating because it was fucking hot. Up until like, what, six, six in the, uh, six in the evening. So yeah, like I can't help, like I don't, my body doesn't have a, ha have the same sort of reaction, you know, reactions that everyone else is. Like everyone's looks a little differently. Like yeah, similarly, but not exactly the same. And it depends on what our everyday activity is, how our everyday activities differ as well. But enough about me. Well, that that's all I gotta say. All right, so. Huh. Uh, you know, I'm just gonna start from the fucking shopper. Alright. Um. Is that audio off? Hold on. Okay, I'm just checking. Alright. Starting in 3, 2, 1. Let's jam. Oh boy. Oh wow. Only 13 people, but that's still a kill streak. Compared to the average idiot. Only just 13 people, but yeah, when you start killing. But now he, but now it's, but now it's the other way around. Eesh. Ay. <laughs> oh my God. Ooh. Wait, is this a rotoscoping? He can't move, like you're just, the, the sense of fear is just paralyzing him. Wait, yeah, it is rotoscoping. Oh. Okay. Buddy lost his hand though. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Someone's just like, fuck yeah, we're gonna treat. Like, for good reason. When they're not even fucking listening at all. Get back and fight, you cowards! <laughs> Is the fucking right, the fucking rhino ass dude from Babar? Yeah, it's not going well for him anymore.
Yeah, that's true. Kato's been a coward all this, a coward, a con artist all this time. He's just getting his just desserts here. But you could just fucking sense that. Oh, you just can't confirm it. He probably just had like a gut feeling. Yeah, my orders were to capture him alive. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. No, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you drop the opening. This is good. Oh, we managed to block it. Oh, wow. He fucking broke this. Fucking broke the sword. Does it break like. Does it normally been like that? I don't know. I don't remember what kind of material. Specific material. Like, if anyone knows about that, like, gets a, has a clue about that, let me know in the comments. Oh, okay. That's good enough. Oh! Oh, I thought you got... I thought you got clocked in the... Ah. Oh, he came back. Ah. Just trying to choke him out. How many eyes got to get poked out before this season ends? Yeah. 
Bro, that's a lot of ligaments cut. Yeah, well, his sneak attack failed. Yeah, I, he actually almost, he actually could have succeeded. Like, the fact that Canute had some sort of combat training beforehand actually benefited. That's the, that, that counts. That little, mo that, that little, that little segment with him training wasn't wonderful or not. <laughs> the king gotta fight, gotta fight, gotta take the battlefield every now and then too. Wow. That actually just bailed them out. But for how long? Ah, uh, yeah, if his eye, one of his eyes gone at least. kind of funny yeah pay your dues funny how he just keep talk, calls him like that Damn. And it's just kind of just over like that. It's not even like a big battle. It's like a, it was one sided and then that that miss that surprise attack by Dorgil. Yeah. He's asking the same way, just like. Is there no, please tell me there's no more wars here, no more slaves. Something that Dorfin's trying to search for at this point. A place called Vitlin. But it's not that.
Yeah, she the the way just kid just the way kid was beating her. I'm pretty sure he already killed the child before by then. But there's obviously. So I was just like, yeah, what do you want God to live? There's no hot, there ain't no fucking hot uh, dial-up hotline here. <laughs> oh, he couldn't say it. It's not gonna work. You know what the sad part is? Anyone wants to be the, that one remaining reason. One of the, at least, he would technically be that one remaining reason like for her to live, but she's gone by then. Couldn't say the word. I mean, she was already done for. That's, that is rough, man. She did not deserve that. My baby Goragane got saved, but RNA here did not. That's the the world of villain is a lot more crueler than most of us people want to take granted for. If she made it, she... <laughs> Literally the same sort of lighting. Literally the same sort of highlighting. Like how the final, se final episode of season one was. Oh, if Kato wakes up and if he's alive, he still wakes up and finds out. Oh, he's. Oh, of course, yep. Yeah. <sighs> no, I know you're mad, but this is not the time.
Yeah, he's just... That! That's some sense to you. Back to reality, man. I don't know. It, it just feels bad. Like, y'all could just say, oh, he's so simple for her, but he genuinely cares for her, aren't he? Like, there was something genuine there. It's just like, there's nothing. Bro, this, but the mother, this motherfucker who's, these motherfuckers who are on the piano and the violin, man, just, bro, fucking get a fortune already, man. Just uh, what now? What? Just a little, probably just a little laughing. Maybe. <laughs> and try to stop Canute. Oh. On both sides? Do this, Mello. Yeah, because at least they could try to find something away from war and just stop with this shitty cycle of violence. Oh, wow. He's that confident. But, man, he's saying no more death. So how is he going to stop the fighting altogether? Does he just surrender the farm? Does he some make some compromise? I'm not sure, man. Hmm. 
Ooh, just like episode tw 20 of, uh, of season one, somewhat. Oh. All right, man. This, this episode may not be twerking with animation, movement and all. It doesn't, but, but I don't fucking care. Y'all can twerk all you want. But if it don't got substance, I don't uh, much substance to care. I should care for. Then fuck that. I don't give a shit. <laughs> Damn, I, I, I have. I don't know how to properly. I don't know how I'm gonna properly describe this one. But it's just like. It's like, there, it just feels like a, a really, just a tough time for them, like, Arhe just, uh, Arhe just passes on because she got nothing else to live for. Anar is heartbroken. Canute almost got, got jumped. Kato's in bad, in worse shape. Dolphin's on, in his, in his, in his most, is like, it's probably his hardest test at the moment. Oh boy. Courage. With pain comes courage. I would say it's, I would say that. Wow. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. Again. Y'all can twerk all you want with animation, and then I will appreciate when it's when that is there too. However pretentious it may be for the for the, for that sort of Sakura Ball fandom, how they complain, how they would go about to, into production and form be complaining about this and that. But Vinland is not one where I feel like things are, are always so short-handed in terms of what I'm presented here. Because the material is just there's something else. I don't know where to go with this one. I I'm I'm honestly sorry. I'm honestly at a loss for words with how to describe me. Well, at least I'm just I just don't know how to describe this properly. Like the the battle wasn't going so well, and Doryo's jump. They, again, they don't hold back. They don't fucking hold back on the gore. That's for sure. They don't hold back on making things very brutal. And this, this part where, like, this is a funny part though. Like, I'm not. I know I'm not supposed to laugh, but there was a part where, where tax. I think what was the guy? The one guy for, that, I, that didn't come up to me until now. Where tax? Where taxes or somebody? The the the, the fucking. Dumb at the fucking rhino guy from from King ba from King Babar movie I watched a long time ago. <laughs> Just be like, don't know what the trick I tell you. Get back and fight, you coward. Yeah, something like that. That's literally that's how that's literally how pathetic Kato has gotten to. And it's not. And I'm not saying. Oh, Kato is a, is a completely a terribly pepper. He's just driven to. He's just spiraled. He's just completely spiraled down because of this. Because like that, everything fucking falls apart. And he's a car artist too, so yeah. It, when it all comes apart, it all comes apart. I'm sure if I if a lot of things went against my, you know. Th things were turning bad for me all at once. I would be fuck. I would be fucking upset. Anyone would be. If for anyone who is be for anyone who is level head who who is level headed when everything goes bad, when literally everything goes bad against them, I comment. I commend you highly. I don't think I can achieve that sort of thing. It's just not. I was never. I was not. I did not grow up or was raised or was taught or was obligated to act. That way, the thing is, is that we all have our different levels of problems, like what we put up with, 
we break. And the funny, and I'm just kind of, it's just kind of occurs to me that the fact that they didn't recognize him was how he also got his life spared. Oh, he lost an eye. How many eyes are going to get poked out? There's, I, I lost count. I'm not saying the ones that where we see, physically see the eyes get, get, you know, jab. I'm talking about the ones where we already saw their, their eyes got, they already got bleeding from the eyes because they got stabbed there. If anyone has count, <laughs> feel free to tell, feel free to show me a number. <laughs> but man, yeah, it, uh, jokes aside, it, this was a really, the battles aside, like it was all a really tough segment with our I, I did wish it was a little, nah, it isn't nitpick, I did wish the part with her was directed better, but I mean, we already kind of got that scene from the previous episode, so yeah, she was about to... She was well on her way. She was well on her way beforehand. I was like, oh, I gotta say, bid these guys for a run. <sighs> Y'all say what you want about Aenar, but I feel bad for I feel bad for him. Because, yeah, you can say he's simple, and that's something we can poke fun at. But he genuinely does care about her. Like, like otherwise, this is, this is not just simple. Like, he wants, he cares for safety. Like, he, he, he feels like, um, there's something there, like they can, like when you make acquaintances, whoever. I don't care about gender and whatnot. You, when you start getting, getting affiliated with them, attach, you know, attached to them in one way or another. I will not blame those sort of feet, uh, having those sort of feelings, and like he cares about, like, and the the fact he cares about well being is, like, oh, don't please don't die. Like he, he because she said he had nothing else to live for. He wants to be. At least somebody that that one last the 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 remaining one to at least live for, but he couldn't get the words across. So, man, that that this is my interpretation. I, I might have gotten like I probably got it wrong, and it might be something else. But it's all the same. It's it's a tough it's a tough call, and I do not blame him being an angry kid. Like to the point where fucking Dorf had to smack some sense into him, literally. Not just smack, punches some sense into him. And it was like, you alright? <laughs> Y'all, you, you've been on some, you're still on some road rage and shit, and some shit. And it, it, this, this whole segment was just tough. Like, just like, what do you mention? And then, just trying to... It's just like what what he said to you know, just like and guess we go anger, just, just just more violence, more brutality, more deaths. And it's just like anger is just you're only just fueling the fire. And I know like we there's personal emotions to take care of. I know I I know I've been part of escalating things because I say something out of emotion. And it, it, that's just human nature. But we got the. But the problem is, and I'm, I'm not gonna act like I'm. I ha, I'm supposed to be a professional or an expert or know it all, with that. But we just gotta watch ourselves. Like we have to just listen. Just take a step back, for whatever we can. Just this is like, are what we doing is right here? Is this really gonna be in? There, there, there is agendas and all. But at the end of the day, like, just having this sort of conflict is just gonna get be kept more. This sort of grudge, whatever, it's just getting more confident. It's just not gonna solve anything. It's not gonna get our pain back. <sighs> this show, this series is amazing. Like, I, who the fuck, who the fuck says I just this is like this is the lame season? Y'all could just fuck off with that. Enjoy your fucking D. Enjoy your fucking D mid it. Slayer, whatever it's called. <laughs> I don't care. Like, you. Like, oh, these Hell's Paradise. Like, yeah, uh, how was that one's production holding up? And y'all can have the defense all you want for that one, but I'm not gonna go, go into that one. Uh, 
there, there's not like there's nothing else I want to say. I, I'm struggling to say I want to say, but you know, I'm just gonna end here. Dolphin is just of of course going to is of course gonna go up ahead and try to do whatever he can to stop more. Like battle ain't over. Wants to do. He wants to try to try something. He's calm. Like he he's obligated to at this point. And then you see him just there. And uh, let me see if it is similar. Let me see if it is similar. Hold on. Uh, maybe I got it wrong, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, no, I don't. It looks like I don't have it. Uh, to well, I'm on, I'm on episode off. I think maybe. I think it was a. Uh... Hold on. Oh, it was yeah, it was episode. Eight. Yeah, I'm totally fucking off. But still, this part, and then like it would just show, and it just kind of just showed the. Um... It just showed that, um, but I mean it's. It is my it's my mess up, but it's just like the similar thing with Canute and now it's just like with Dorfin now. So yeah. My fuck up my bad on that end. But uh I guess you can but I think the um I think I think you can uh, basically um you know still put the parallels regardless. Uh anyways, that's gonna do it. Yeah, they said this is a big episode. Yeah, this was quite a big episode. It could have been better, yeah, but I think I'm glad with what we got here. Even if it could, even if it was imperfections here and there, I still like what I got. It's better than any the perfect episode, the perfect episode by the standards of of something else that is just not so good in 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 general. So take it as you will. Anyways, smash the like button. Let me know what you in the comments below. Follow me on Twitter, join the Discord server, share this video around, subscribe to the channel. Well, I'll do it for this edition of Villain Sog Reactions. Real station starting off. See you next time. Take care. Stay safe. Have a great day. Peace out. Uh, wow. Okay. I forgot this was not a stream. <laughs>